Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Jenny Fit Start. Yes, I am in a kitchen and that's where I want you to be for this video. Have you ever been cooking and you're waiting on something for like 10 to 15 minutes? Well, now you have something to do. <laughs> Next time that you're in the kitchen, I want you to turn this video on. We're gonna go through about 10 really good exercises, upper and lower body, 20 repetitions each, and then next thing you know, you've got a workout in just when you thought you didn't have time. So get in your kitchen and find a good counter so uh, countertop and we'll get started. Uh, some lower body and upper body exercises. The first one, of course, my favorite, the squat. So find a place to hold, hips shoulder width apart, and you're gonna squat down like you're sitting in a chair and then stand up, all right, 20 times. Weights on your heels. And I'm holding on for balance. I'm not gripping tightly. I shouldn't feel like I'm about to fall down. Ten more. times each side. You can face the um, countertop or you can turn. I'm going to turn so you can see me a little bit better. You're going to bend your knee. The key though is to keep your knee down, okay? We're not bringing it up. Isolating the hamstring muscle. So slow enough that it shouldn't feel like a kick, but more like a lift. And if you feel it on the other leg too, that is totally fine and normal. We're standing on that one leg. So you should feel it both sides. Five more. Good. Maybe one more. And then we do the other side. So I'm gonna turn so you can see my leg a little better. And we're gonna bend and lower. Bend and lower. Now you can do these exercises anywhere, but I just have this idea of doing them in the kitchen because I feel like I'm always waiting in the kitchen. And a little is always better than none. So we're about halfway there. We got 10 more good ones we want. Bend and lower. Good posture, abs in. And one more. Good, we're gonna move right into some push-ups. We want our hands on the countertop. We're gonna bring our elbows out and then push in. So find your space, the closer you are, the easier. The farther back, the harder. Find where you wanna be and let's go. Good, so my knees and my toes are facing out a little. 
because I want this different than a squat. I want to work the inner thighs. You can also drag the foot if you want. And that can give some extra resistance to the inner thighs. And just like me, I'm talking too much. I have no idea what number we're on, but I'm gonna guess this is 12. So we'll do five more. You got this. One more. Woo, 20. And then you'll turn, I'm gonna turn right here so you don't, you can see my better side. And we're gonna plie, pull in. Plie, pull in. Good. Good job, y'all. Keep up the good work. You got this. And remember, you could drag the foot. Drag the foot. Good posture, shoulders back. We're halfway there. Let's go. Ooh, this feels good. I can feel it working. Come on, two more, you got it. One more. And good, so, I'm getting warm, I'm feeling warmer, that's normal if you are too. We're gonna try some dips. These work the tricep muscle. It's a little better if your counters are lower, but we're gonna make do. Walk your feet out, hands on the counter, bend your elbows, push up. Now don't make the mistake of just moving your lower body, okay? It's elbows are bent, Elbows are straight. Got it? Let's go. So you should feel like you're going straight down. And only as far down as your shoulders are telling you to, right? So for me, it's about there. We have 10 more. Make them good. Three more, you got this. Eight, nine, ten. Yay! Okay, back to lower body. Find your counter. Hip circles around, around. Hitting every point of a circle. Keeping it low, too. We don't need to go really high. Concentrate on that circle. Okay, so that's 10. Let's reverse the direction around. So now I'm going clockwise. Good. How are you doing? We hanging in there? Let's go. One more. Come on. 10. Perfect. Switch. Always your outside leg there, right? So it doesn't hit your other leg or the cabinets. Okay, one more. Let's reverse the direction. Other way. kitchen. We're going to do an up dog into a down dog, okay? Not the best view of me from here, but you will understand how to do it. Get like in a push-up position, bend your elbows, arch your back, and then you're going 
going to lean back, legs straight. And we repeat, bend the elbows, arch your back, lean back. Because there's two motions, we're doing 10. Don't forget to use those triceps. How are we doing? So we're halfway there. And 10. Ooh, okay, that one actually made me sweat more than the other ones did. Um, just a few more, you're doing great. Let's do, um, ooh, I love these. This, it's called a golfer's lift. And if you play golf, you know what I'm talking about. Hand is on the counter. You're gonna reach down with your right arm, left leg comes up, touch the ground, and up, okay? Try it. Why are we picking our leg up? It is so good for your back to keep it nice and straight. So, I also like this because it's a functional exercise. And that means it's a move we do during the day. We do drop things and we have to pick them up. So if we practice the safe way to do it, it'll save our back. Now what if you can't reach all the way to the ground? Don't worry. Just go down as far as you want to. Maybe you want to touch your knee. That's a good option. Knee. I would still like to see your back leg come up though. Good. So five more, you choose which way you wanna do it. Down and up. So next time you pick up something on the ground, remember this, golfer's lift. One more. Good, and so we're not lopsided. We need to do the other side. I'm gonna move over here. My leg's not gonna come back as much, but you probably wanna see me this direction instead. Down and up. Down and up. Maybe one side is harder than the other. Totally normal, right? But that's why we want to do everything both sides. Even if you're rehabbing, say, a bad side, I still do the other side too in rehab. So that we're just nice and straight and even, and we have what's called muscle balance. I think 10 more. If not, it's really close. Good job, you guys. Keep going, you're doing great. I know you're doing great. We have five more. And remember, you don't have to go all the way down. You can touch your knees if you want. Two more. One more. Ah, just a few more, I promise. Okay, outer leg lift. But we're not doing just normal up and down. We're pulsing, it's gonna be quick. Leg up, toe facing forward, not up, forward. Ready? Pulse, two, three, four. Little movements, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, you got this. Come on, count out loud. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Beautiful. Other leg, lift it up, toe forward, pulse. Two. Ten more, come on. 
10, 9, 8, count down with me, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, beautiful, let's work the midsection, who doesn't want to work that? Okay, here, watch me, lean your hip, push back up. Let me show you the wrong way. We're not leaning the whole body, uh-uh, just the hip. It should look like the letter C on this side, here. It's a small motion, but if you're doing it correctly, you should feel it right through here. Super great for the hips. Lean, push up, lean, push up. Leading with the hip. See, I'm sweating in the kitchen doing these exercises. And I'm not even cooking, so my oven's not on. So if you're sweating too, you're in good company. Here we go. So we're gonna do five more. Ooh, these feel great to me. One more, oh yes. We do the other side, we're almost done. Ready, lean straight, lean straight. Just the hip, small motion. So we're halfway there. I want 10 more good ones, make them good. And then guess what? Just one more exercise right after this. Fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, one more. Yes, beautiful. Last one is another functional one. We get things off the ground, we have to reach up in cabinets, and as we age, that gets more and more difficult. So, you're going to turn around to a cabinet, you're going to lift up on your toes while you reach and bring your arm down. We're going to alternate arms. Let's go. Reach, reach. Ten more, go. And 10, you did 10 and 10, that's 20. You did a great job. Next time when you're cooking in the kitchen, turn me on. Let's do this workout together. Have a great day. Bye.